Hey, good morning. Chuck here at Apple Drains. Today we are putting in a drainage system that starts here behind this garage. We'll show you that in a second. We're also going to be putting this pipe underground here along this bed. So let's get these guys started and we'll show you exactly what we need to have done. Okay, so back here behind the garage, you can see the hill. The water's been coming down. You can actually see the mud here. This actually floods so bad that it comes into the garage and it's a finished area inside the garage. You can see this is a two-story garage. He uses this as an office. We've got a gas line. That's the yellow marking. And of course, it's always right where you want to dig. Don't ever think that it won't be. So we'll come right alongside the gas line behind the AC unit. We'll be hooking up this downspout and the front downspout will be trenching all the way out to the street. There's also power here in the garage. You can see it right here. You can see the red markings. They're kind of in our way, but we should be okay. Always hand dig across your power. You can also see cable out here. Not too concerned about cable and telephone, but if we can avoid it, that would be great. We're gonna come all the way out here to the walk, about 150 feet cut the walk and discharge over at the curb. So back here behind the garage where the main problem is, we had Paul go ahead and trench us a, dig us a trench across the back. He's down about uh, 18, 20 inches. You can see we had to go underneath of a bunch of pipes right here, sprinkler, sewer, more sprinklers, more sprinklers, more sprinklers until we get around to that corner. Had to have those those guys use their shovels, hand dig a section to where I could get to it with a trencher just because you can see all the sprinkler stuff down here. We'll replace all of that. Pretty simple to fix sprinklers. Hand dig across. One section there where the power comes across, that needs to be connected. Then we'll cut that walk, bring all this water right out to the street where it belongs. So we just cut the walk. Remember the secret of cutting the concrete and removing the concrete is to be sure that you cut all the way through. And hopefully I've cut all the way through. Chuck's finishing the trench up out to the curb, then we'll make a V cut at the curb. So remember when you're making your V cut, you actually make three cuts. Make your V, then cut down the center. Next we'll take the pry bar and we'll go ahead and pop those pieces out, I hope. So if we've got this proper, we should be able to just take this pry bar and pop these right out. Remember, this is a half round curb. That's why we're making V cuts rather than coring it. Oh yeah, popped right out of there, I think. Yep. Then you can just shape it up with your pry bar. <clears throat> That's just to let this water you know, come out. Our pipe will end right here, the four inch pipe will end right here. This just allows it to escape out into the street where it belongs. So if you cut clear through your concrete, you can see just a few hits on there and it pops right loose. Step back, crack some more, crack all the way across. Remember that secret is to cut clear through your concrete, you'll be able to easily crack your pieces out, then you just lift them up and carry them away. So we're just about ready to lay pipe. We've got our V cut down here. 
one last piece of concrete. We'll trench that section out under the walk. And you can see our line goes all the way back to the back. We had to make that curve in the line so that we could get across the utilities. Not a problem. Okay, pull it a little bit, Gerald. That's good, don't pull any more. <laughs> that was the end of the pipe, we're just putting more pipe together. Oh, no, no, there's a hundred feet that goes from here to the street, and then the, the other old goes back here. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a long ways, but Yeah, I put a coupling on there so we could continue the pipe. Okay, pull it a little Straighten bit. Straighten that catch basin up. Straighten it up. Make sure it stays together. Pour some gravel around it so you can pack it in. So we're starting to cover up the trench. You can see all the dirt going back. We leave it a little bit high. We're gonna take some of this away. We've got a good place for soil here in the back. We'll go dump that soil as well. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, Guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains. If you haven't subscribed yet, here's your chance. Just click the screen. Get commercial free how-to help.